in our second reading, we see the title, Where Have All the Fish Gone? If you see, if you notice, this is a can. This is a soda pop can, maybe a Pepsi can. And there's a little, little tiny fish living in the can. A yellow goby looks out from its soda can home in Suruga Bay, Japan. So what happened to all the fish? Throughout history, people have thought of the ocean as a diverse and limitless source of food. Limitless means so much food. There's no stop. It keeps going forever. Today, however, there are clear signs that the oceans do have a limit. Most of the big fish in our oceans, including many of the fish we love to eat, are now gone. Think about that. We love to eat fish, but many of the big fish we eat, there's no more big fish. One major factor is overfishing. I think I told you the word factor is reason. One major reason is overfishing, one major factor is overfishing. People are taking so many fish from the sea that species cannot reproduce quickly enough to maintain their population. So let's look at this fish. He's part of the goby species, goby species of fish. So you can have yellow, green, black, white, but all of them are goby. It's the goby species of fish. People are taking so many fish from the sea that species cannot reproduce, have babies quickly enough to maintain their populations. How did this problem start and what is the future for fish? Source of the problem. For centuries, local fishermen caught only enough fish to feed their families and their communities. They used traditional gear like spears and hooks that targeted a single fish at a time. One fish at a time. A long time ago, for centuries, we only got one fish at a time. However, in the mid 20th century, more people around the world became, became interested in fish as a source of protein and healthy fats. In response to this, governments gave money and other help to the fishing industry. Industry means business. As a result, the fishing industry grew. Large commercial fishing companies began catching huge quantities of fish. They made a lot of money selling the selling the fish around the world. In addition, they started using new fishing technologies that made fishing easier. These technologies included sonar to locate fish <coughs> and dragging large nets along the ocean floor. Modern equipment enabled commercial fishermen to catch many more fish than local fishermen. So remember, a local fisherman catches fish for his family and his neighbors. A commercial fisherman catches fish for everybody in the country, or maybe in the world. Rise of the little fish, rise is increase. In 2010, the Census of Marine Life estimated that 90% of the big ocean fish populations are gone, mainly due to overfishing. Think about that, 90% of big ocean fish are gone, why? mainly due to overfishing. In particular, specifically, commercial fishing has greatly reduced the number of large fish such as cod, tuna, and salmon. Okay, so you eat salmon, you eat tuna, you eat cod, these are large fish, but 90% of all of these fish today, we don't even have them because we fish too much. Today, there are plenty of fish in the sea, but they're mostly just the little fish, the little ones. Small fish such as sardines and anchovies have more than doubled in number. This is largely because there aren't enough big fish to eat them. Yeah, if you don't, if the fish don't have any uh, predators, anyone who eats them, they're going to reproduce more and more. This is a problem because in order to be stable, oceans need predators. The predators are the big fish. 
predators are necessary to kill the sick and weak fish. Without them, there are too many unhealthy small fish in the sea. Yeah. So predators, the big fish, eat the sick and weak fish first. And if you don't have predators, then there's going to be too many unhealthy small fish in the sea. This can cause serious problems for the sea's food chain and the health of our oceans. Yeah, I see that. I want to take a look at that picture. So a fish farm such as this one in Turkey help protect wild seafood population. So this is maybe a salmon farm or a tuna farm or a cod farm where they will grow big fish here to eat. Okay. What is the future for fish? A future for fish. A study published in 2006 in the journal Science made a prediction. If we continue to overfish the oceans, most of the fish that we catch now, from tuna to sardines, will disappear by 2050. Wow, that's in 30 years. Maybe in 30 years there's no more fish. That's really scary. I never thought about that. However, we can prevent this situation if we restore the ocean's biodiversity. Bio means life, diversity means differences. But we need to restore means put more fish in the ocean. Restore means build it again. Re means again. Restore. We have to restore the ocean's biodiversity. I wonder how we're going to restore the ocean's biodiversity. So, oh, thank God they tell me. Scientists say there are a few ways we can do this. First, commercial fishing companies need to catch fewer large fish. This will increase the number of predator fish in the sea. Okay, so don't catch large fish. If you don't catch large fish, there will be more predators in the sea. That's a really good idea. So you have to stop eating fish, I guess. Stop eating big fish like salmon and tuna. Another way to improve the biodiversity of the oceans is to develop aquaculture. Aquaculture is fish farming. So remember, they gave you a new term here, then they tell you here what it means. Aquaculture, fish farming. Growing fish on farms means that we catch fewer wild fish. Oh, okay, that's good. You, you just eat the fish from the farm, then you don't have to catch them. Growing fish on farms mean that we catch fewer wild fish. This gives wild fish a chance to survive and reproduce. In addition, we can make good choices about what we eat. Yeah, just don't eat big fish. For example, we can stop eating the fish that are most in danger, like bluefin tuna, or only eat fish from fish farms. If we are careful today, we can still look forward to a future with fish. Wow. Did you know about that? Did you know that the oceans are running out of fish to eat? I didn't know. That is very interesting. Thank you for reading with me.